there and welcome to another of the table favours. This one's a really tiny little one. It measures, let's see. Oh, it's the wrong side of me. Two inches square. So it's such a cute little thing. And it it's a hinged box. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? It hinged and it holds two of these chocolate coins. Now these are available every Christmas here in Australia and I remember as a child in the UK they used to come out every Christmas as well. So I'm sure they're available around the world. These are from Woolworths. You get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in a, so they must weigh 10 grams each, um, in a packet and they're $2 from Woolies. And I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. That says used by June 30, 2024, so they've got plenty of time on those. And for $2, you can make so many of these little table favours, and they're just great. You could just pop them, you could put somebody's name on these rather than Merry Christmas, but I just put Merry Christmas on them. So let me pop out two more of these, wherever the hole is. There you go, two more of those. Let's pop them out of the way. These ones have got Australian coin colour um, numbers on them. This says one dollar, but I mean the one dollar coin is not that big. I wish it was. No, I don't. It'd be too hard to get in your purse. So anyway, these are what we're going to be using. This is what they look like. Aren't they so just just so cute? Um, and they're called hinged boxes, and it's table favour day three. And this is it. Look at this. That's all you need, plus a piece of scrap for your um, tag there. So what you need is a piece of card that measures five by five and a half inches and two pieces of designer series paper that measure one and three quarter inches by one and a, th a quarter inches and one and three quarter inches by one and a half inches. I just made this tiny little bow to go on the front. I did those bows. That one was way too small. It just didn't even turn out looking nice. So, And that's what I needed. And I've, I'm using um, glue dots to pop them on. So let's get cracking, shall we? So let's bring in my scoreboard. Oops. Hang on a moment. The scoring tool's falling out again. Oops. Can't get straight in my chair. Let's bring in my scoreboard. Let's move them out of the way and let's bring this in and we're going to score this on the pop this here so I can read this on the long side which is the five and a half inch side we're going to score this at a half an inch two and a half inches oh that's a two and a half inches three inches and five inches we're going to turn it onto the short side and we're going to score this at a half an inch, two and a half inches, and four and a half inches. We're then going to turn this back to the short side, or the long side, sorry, and then at the one inch mark we're going to score down to the two and a half inch mark, the second score line. And then we're going to do the same the other end at the four and a half inch mark. We're going to score down to the two and a half inch score line that we put in, or the second score line. And that's all their scoring done. Let's pop my score tool in there, make sure it's sticking in there this time. And we'll bring this in. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold and burnish all the score lines except for those last two that we put in. So let's fold and burnish all of those score lines. one of those really great projects for using up those tiny scraps that you've got left. Okay, so let me turn this over so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to just pop that up there. Move out of the way, you. All right, so I'm just going to bring this in and what we're going to do first is we're going to cut down those score lines that we just popped in, those last ones that we didn't 
um, didn't uh, fold and burnish. We're going to cut down those score lines to that second score line. So you've got one, two score lines and cut that off. Completely off. Like so. We're going to do exactly the same on the other one. I'm just going to turn it over. I'm just cutting the opposite side of the score line just so that my score line is actually removed as well. And then and the same at the bottom here. Making sure that I've actually removed that score line. So if I haven't that, that, that tiny bit there, we can move that out. Okay, so that's what our card looks like so far. Alright. This is the top. This is the bottom of the box. We're going to turn it so that the top of the box is in front of us and we're going to just cut down to those first score lines either side and then cut those, notch them out like so. And we're going to turn it all the way around the other way and we're going to then cut this square here away completely on this corner and then the other one we're going to notch this one up the same as we did the other end and then this one we're going to notch up as well so that's all our cutting away but we're going to do some more cutting we're going to turn this sideways now and then we're going to cut from this score line this score line here right to this score line not over it so we're going to cut down to and stopping right at that score line like the side we're going to turn it around and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side so we're going to cut this up to the score line but not past it so we have this little piece here in the middle that holds it together okay so once we've done that we can move our scissors out of the way and we're going to just round the corners on these two pieces here like so on these short ones they have been rounded now at least will you will see this in the, my written tutorial which we'll find on dye stamp for stamping and crafting and tutorial blah, blah, blah. okay so we're going to do that we're now going to use our one inch circle punch and we're going to bring that in about halfway and between those two sections on your your left hand side here of the box so you can eyeball it or you can actually sit there and measure it if you want I'm just going to chop that piece out like so so our card now look like this okay so what we're going to do then we're going to pop our pieces of designer series paper on so I'm going to pop this one on here so I will round this corner here and I'll glue that onto there now make sure that if you have a directional paper your direction goes this way across the page let's pop that on a bit straighter there we go that's a bit better pop that down nice and tight and then with this piece make sure that your design goes this way because once this folds over like so then you want your design to be the same way so this one you're running your if you've got a design that runs the same way, it needs to be this way. And when we do this piece, it needs to be this way. So I pop our other piece of design a series paper on. Like so. Okay. And that's our pieces of design a series paper done. So now we're going to do is we're going to make our box. Now we want this front flap to fold back. 
and this front flap here to fold back. So that's why we have put on it, we've taken one of these notches out because if we don't, this is too bulky. So with, what we're going to do first is we're going to pop a bit of glue onto our tab in the middle at the top. And we're going to bring that back, which is the part without the designer set of paper on it, over and line it up. Line it up nice and neatly so it's square on that top bit there. If you find that you need to trim your tab underneath, this is the time to do it. Once you've done that, we're then going to pop some glue along this front tab piece. And we're going to bring that across and fold it over. That way the join is at the back of the box. And make sure that's nice and square with the rest of the box. We can always bring our little bone folder in and just give it a bit of a burnish in there. Once we've done that piece, we're going to do this the front ones now. So we're going to pop this glue on this piece. And bring it over. And making sure that's nice and square there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. We're going to put some glue on this one. And we're going to bring that one over onto the back one. Like so. Now because we want these two pieces to slide inside that one, we don't see so if we had that other thing there, it would have been too bulky here. So then we can pop glue on the bottom. And the side piece and just carefully slide that inside the box like so bringing that around so that it matches up nicely on that edge and along the bottom edge like so we can just lay that down like that just pop our bone folder in just to make sure that they're down nice and tight oops Oh, that was a bit squeaky, wasn't it? Well, once they're down nice and tight, we know that that box is going to then fold over like so. It will need a little bit of easing over the first time because it's going to be tight just around here. But it's not that tight that you can't do it. Okay, once we've done that, we're then just going to bring in a piece of... The, I've got another piece of this card and I've got my double oval punch and I'm just going to punch out and I don't really want both of them so I'm actually going to cut a piece of this off I'm going to cut a piece off because I don't really want to punch out both of them and that's, that's a pointless wasting card so I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to take that bit chuck those two bits there we go and we're going to bring in our Merry Christmas, which I've got from the Christmas Scotty, and it's just Merry Christmas just there, like so. So let's pop that over there, and I'm just going to do it in memento. Now, if you could do this in another colour if you wanted to, so that, um, you know, the old tag stood out a bit from the other one. So bring in my dimensions wherever I put them. There they are. Just so I'll just actually cut a little bit of this off the back here. Because I just need a tiny bit down the middle here just to hold that down. Hear that noise in the background? That's my husband. He's actually making me a lot new light box. Okay, so I'm going to put on some glue dots. So I've got a couple of glue dots here. I'm not putting any um, bling on it, you know, any... Uh, because these are just too tiny. Oops, that's stuck to my finger. There we go. 
just two glue dots like so one very close to the other my little bow over the top like that look at that how cute does that look the Merry Christmas hidden behind there and then I can then put in my two chocolates and it holds two just beautifully and that is our project what do you think what a great little idea <laughs> and very little stuff to use let me pop the pin in my glue now if you would like the written tutorial for this table favor this is day four no day three table favor and you will be on my website uh, not my website on my facebook group oh, this is a website in a way not mine though on my Facebook group called Die Stand for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. There you'll find the written tutorial for this. And um, that goes live exactly the same day as the YouTube video. If you'd like if, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you don't want to miss any of my other projects, please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any other projects and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.